Hi everyone. This week in maths you have been set the challenge to work on fractions. So I thought I'd model finding a fraction for you today. So here is our question for today. How can I find a fraction of a number? I'm going to start by recapping on these fractions here. So we've got one half and one quarter. Let's see if you can say those. One half and one quarter. As you can see here, this fraction half, we have two equal parts. And for one quarter, we have four equal parts. I'm going to model finding half of an amount for you. So, let's have a look. This number sentence says one half of six. If we look at the fraction, we have two numbers here. Okay. Now, this bottom number we call the denominator. And this top number we call the numerator. To help us find a fraction, we first look at the denominator. This is our bottom number. And it is 2, okay? So it's fraction half and our denominator is 2. So we need to have two groups to help us find this fraction. And here are my two groups. Now we need to share out this number here, the number 6. That doesn't mean we need to put 6 dots in each group. It means we need to share them. Okay, I'm going to show you an example. So I'm going to share out six. So I'm doing one, two, three, four, five, six. I've shared them between the two groups. Now, my numerator is one. So I'm going to just look at one of my groups and I'm going to count it up. One, two, three. So half of six is three. Let's have another go. Now I've got the number eight to share. Again, I've got my two groups because I'm finding half and my denominator is two. So I'm going to share this number between my two groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Using my jottings to help me. Again, my numerator is one, so I'm only going to look at one of my groups. And I'm going to count it up. One, two, three, four. So half of eight is four. Okay. Now, if I want to find what one quarter of a number is, can you now see the difference? My denominator is four. So I've got four groups. Okay, if I go back to my half, my denominator is two, so I have two groups. If I'm finding one quarter, I need four groups. But I'm going to do exactly the same with this number here. I'm going to share it. I'm going to share it this time between my four groups. Just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've shared the number eight between my four groups. Now my num numerator is one, so I'm only going to look at one of my groups. And I'm going to count it up like I did before. One, two. So one quarter of eight is two. Okay, now over to you. It is your turn. Can you find these fractions of amounts? I'm going to give you some time now to write them down. Okay, so if you've got some pe a pen and some paper, you need to write down one half of ten. 
one half of 12, one quarter of four, and one quarter of 12. You write those down, and then can you work them out using your jottings, your groupings, just like I have done. Now, if you want to email your work, we would love to see it. Okay, we would love to see your working out to see how you have found these fractions. Okay, so can you find one half of 10, one half of 12, one quarter of four and one quarter of 12? Good luck.